All right, very nice one. We, um, Remy, uh, De, uh, De Jokun, they actually do. So make sure say she puts smiles on the faces of children, especially physically challenged um, pickings them. Now, talking about another very applaudable initiative ready on ground, I get this cadet person in the house, um, Solomon Oladimeji, and Ina, the pioneer of Train a Youth Initiative. Good to have you, Mr. Solomon. Thank you so very much. Um, I'm so happy to be here. And we get this so happy to get you in the house. People like, people like uh, you, where they're actually um, being very impactful to Nigerians. Now, people would like to celebrate on top of the show. And we're very honored to say you actually um, grace our uh, seats this morning. Now, talking about Train a Youth Initiative, Tell us what you actually make you to start this particular movement. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Um, Train a Youth Initiative is a non-governmental, non-profit making organization that was founded to help youth and adults in Nigeria. Uh, because if you go around, you notice that um, the unemployment rate is so much, mm. so high. And I thought about it being a lover of Nigeria, being a lover of Nigerians too to um, actually contribute my own quota to the development of the nation. Mm. You know, a lot of people are complaining that the nation is bad and all that, but we need to contribute our own quota. I to agree. Make, yeah, to make the country better. Mm. And you know, um, I faced some challenges as a youth because um, I was unemployed for a long time. I had no skill, no education. But somebody, Happy Yenka Davis of Blessed Memory, um, that was in two. 2008, and he said, Solomon, let me train you how to be a cinematographer, how to be an editor, a director. And I was with him for two years. So after I left, I got my first job. So I thought about it that what can I do to help people? So I started by training people in 2011, February 6th, to be precise, on um, cinematography, photography, bead making, makeup artistry, confectionaries, and the rest. And I like when you make one statement just now. You talk, say, um Looking at where you come from, you not get education. You had no skills. Yeah. You had no training whatsoever. Yeah, and yeah. that's now why you decide. See, as you don't get this training as regards yeah. to cinematography, yeah. make you impart others. Others, yes. Make we talk about you now. <laughs> Tell okay. us because uh, the fact that you don't get access to education, waiting because of, and then the period where you be they look for job, waiting you be they do. Okay. Um, <laughs> At that period, after secondary school, I was dancing. I was doing stage dramas and all that. So um, my father really never was in support of that because he would always ask me as a concerned father that, can you make it being a dancer? Mm -hmm. But that has always been my passion, you know. So um, thank God for the upbringing that we had from our parents. So I had to leave home after secondary school and I was living in the church. Oh. You know, yeah, I was living in the church. So um, then I was still pursuing admission. So in between that period, so I was dancing, I was acting, I was doing many out jobs, you understand? But the um, university education never came. I never got admission, Why? not until, not until when I acquired that skill, okay. the cinematography skill, and I got my first job in a media house. It was then that I now went to higher institution, Alavisi and Obanjo University, to study mass communication. But you said the university this in never come, in Ocom. Why in Ocom? Ocom? Because yeah. say maybe jam, jam you or... No, no, be say jam. No, 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 be say jam, really jam me. I just want to focus on um, my dancing and stage okay. acting at that time. So I just want to focus. Decision. Personal decision. Okay. You understand? Because I just you say... A lot of people, when they come out of university, mm. they don't get a job. So why me say why one go? go. Okay. You know, so let me just build myself first. If I don't get myself, eh, I feel can't go to school, go, go get the degree. And that was what but I did. But now you, they do something very, very amazing. Now you yeah. can't get, person can't train you on these skills. And yeah. you can't discover, say, okay, make I not just keep these skills to myself, they make money. Make yeah. I train every other yes. youth. And you say you start this particular initiative since when? 2011. Since 2011, 11, yes. how impactful and how many Nigerian youths don't benefit from your training? <laughs> a lot of people. Count. <laughs> a lot of people don't benefit. Yeah, of course, with a count, with a count, I mean, a lot of okay. people don't benefit. Um, before two days ago, okay. we trained 2,980 people. Wow. And two days ago, we started training um, some secondary school. We started with Day Spring International School, where um, we are training 30 um, students at the moment. So. It's more than 3,000 uh, 3, people that we have trained wow. so far. Yeah. Wow. And we are still waxing stronger. I like that. Now, why mm -hmm. is it very important for us to train the Nigerian youth? Uh, well, um, 
if you go on the streets, a lot of people, they complain, say, uh, how can they make it and all that? And the people that are supposed to be role models to help these youth are the people that are um, promoting fraudulent activities. Mm. That is why I advise youths that um, cut down on what you do on social media because mm. there are a lot of fake people there. The kind of things where you feed yourself with on social media. Because you a, lot of, a lot of people go make you believe, say, yes, it is very easy to make mm. money. It is all about wealth, flaunting wealth and all that. But we've forgotten that there is a place of work earning decent means, mm. and that is what we are doing. Let us help you. Let us train you. We know they collect money from anybody. Now free. The training are free, basically free. Mm. And most of the people when we don't train, they don't start to work. They don't they make money. You understand? And most of them say they do one or two things for me, and I they pay them. So that is the advantage. Most of those people were unemployed before, but when they came to our institute and we trained them, now they are doing well for themselves. So now you, you, you talk, say, um, the training is free. Free. So really, how do you tell they feed yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you don't do free training. How do you feed yourself? <laughs> yeah, um, I tell people that when you want to help people, it is not the size of your paws that matters, but the mm. size of your heart. OK. You know, I'm a salary earner. Okay. I so work. you see they work nine to five? I see they, yeah, oh, okay. I see they work. I okay. see they work. And I they tell people, say, look, the opportunity when you go get, if you empower yourself, is so enormous, it's so big. You know, I started little and I they build myself. Now, to the glory of God, I they work for Nigeria, I they work for London, based on the skills where I don't acquire. Wow. My company believes so much in me and they say, oh boy, go there. So these are the kind of examples mm. I will give people. And... It is part of my salary that I use to train people. Wow. So a, a large bulk of the money where you, where you they get, you they feel that they fund your initiative. Most Any definitely. other person, the way they actually support you, do they get support from other people or even from government? No, not really. Um, we've never gotten any form of support from the government. Um, I'm one of the grassroots leaders in my um, local government, in Fakoja, local government, and we have written letters. We have met quite a lot of politicians. I would not have met them for support because, you know, there are a, a lot of people online who have um, NGOs, mm. initiatives, and all that, who are just using it to enrich themselves. themselves so if too. you go to talk to people, they'll say, ah, I say this one, I say one, one enrich. Them. You understand? So we don't they do our trainings low-key from 2011 till about, it was just like, two, three years that we started asking for support from people. Mm -hmm. And most of them will say, ah, Solomon, you did do well. This country needs someone like you. But they won't get back. We are not angry, but um, the, the positive thing is that we have volunteers. Okay. We have volunteer teachers. People would come. Not that we don't pay them. Mm -hmm. I pay them, but they are volunteering. They are helping to also reach out to so many mm -hmm. other youths out there. I like that. Now, if a, if a youth, they watch us now, and they want to actually benefit from this training, how can they reach you? Okay, all right. Um, they can reach me on my phone number. Um, no, maybe your email address. Email address, and okay. Website, if possible. Yeah, website, train a youth initiative dot org. Okay, train a, a youth, youth initiative dot org. Yeah. Okay. Then on Facebook, train a youth initiative. Okay. Yeah, just type train a youth Instagram initiative. Uncle. Yeah, Instagram, the great solo eighty five. The great D E T H E. Okay, so T H E. T -H -E.